Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my YouTube channel if you're new here, welcome. My name is Rosina Sharon and today we are going to do a full face makeup tutorial. It's been a while since I did a full face makeup tutorial. So I'm going to make it as detailed as possible for you guys. It's been a while, so I have energy today. Yeah, why do we have chickens? Anyway, before you do that, kindly subscribe, share your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'll be reading all of them, Kamakawa Ada. And if you like the video, give it a big, big thumbs up. Before we, uh, yeah, let's go straight into the video. I don't know, it's been a while. Even the intro is crazy. So let's get straight into the video. Okay, we're going to start off with the eyebrows. I'm just brushing through the eyebrows with a spoolie before I start lining. For lining today, we're going to use the Davis Number no. 3 Eye Pencil. This is a dark brown shade. For beginners, please avoid black eye pencil. Okay, so we have a branded mirror today. <laughs> Anyways, let me just guide you on how to start lining your eyebrows. You see the corner of your nose? Place a dot there. If you don't know how to line or rather which shape to follow this is just a guideline and your eyebrows have a very natural curve so where it is curved place another dot okay and the outer corner angle your eye pencil the way I just angle and then place a dot so you avoid overlining your eyebrows okay so these three dots are going to guide you on how exactly you're going to line under the eyebrows first and please avoid using too much force use very little force and make sure your eye pencil is sharp so on the upper side of the brow you already have an, a, a curve guiding you from the the lower side so place a dot just above it so it guides you on when exactly you should start curving going down and when you start lining the upper side leave a bit of space around the inner corner because you want that eyebrow to appear natural so connecting that line to where you place the dot please do it in a more straight line not a very angled line so you avoid your eyebrows looking like a nike advert when connecting from the dot going down connect it outwards not inwards outwards next this is a technique i would recommend especially if you want your natural hair brows to be seen use a bar soap Make sure it is wet and we're going to use that white part of the bar soap. So make sure that your bar soap is wet and we're going to use that white product. Okay, so we're just going to use a spoolie to brush through the product to our eyebrows. And then after we press it in so the product stays intact. As you can see, the eyebrows are now laid down and very visible. So next we're going to fill in and we're going to fill in the areas where we feel like there is a space only because we want those uh, natural brows to be seen so only the areas where you feel like there is a space and around the inner corner draw hair like structures make sure your eye pencil is very very sharp the tip of your eye pencil is very sharp and apply very little force while you're doing this be very very careful and you know your natural eyebrows are very they're not like straight all the way through so please follow the pattern of your natural eyebrows so next we're going to clean out our eyebrows i'm using the um, elegant pro concealer in the shade of fawn so kindly use a concealer that is two shades lighter than your skin tone to clean out your eyebrows two shades lighter than your skin tone so as you start you know cleaning it out drag the concealer down as you go so it's easier for you to blend afterwards when you're done and use a very very angled brush for this and then after you're done please blend in the edges we don't want any harsh lines showing around the edges of your eyebrows blend it in using a clean brush so before we apply a shade we're going to set our lids using the very concealer we use to line and then please blend it in use a fluffy brush for this blend it in until you get a very flawless blend first before you start applying eyeshadow you can as well use an eyeshadow primer but this is a beginner friendly tutorial so we're going to stick with the concealer for our eyeshadow today we're going to use the royalty palette from reina beauty it's very beautiful so for beginners transitioning shades should always be matte matte for transition you can use a shimmer on the crease region so to play it safe go with the browns so the first transition should always be a darker shade so start with a darker shade of brown and then now you can blend that one in so this is just to give you a guideline on where to place your first transition just on the outer corner on the lower side as you can see there place a dot where your eyebrows is curved 
place another dot there and just towards the inner corner not necessarily around the inner corner just just where just next to the inner corner if that makes sense <laughs> you can't see here so <laughs> yeah that is just going to be a guideline on where exactly to place your first transition so start from the outer corner while blending that one in from the outer corner going towards the inner corner and your transition should always be placed on the upper lid not the lower lid okay focus that on the upper lid from the outer corner going towards the inner corner on the upper lid and use circular motions to blend that in so to blend our first transition use something very neutral something that matches your skin tone okay to play safe use something that matches your skin tone and again to blend that one in use circular motions and very little force so you get a very smooth uh, transition so around the crease region we are going to use this shade called Taji. It's a very beautiful shade. I wanted something that matches my transition. So go with something. If you're going to use browns, go with gold. It matches brown. And then after you're done placing that on your crease, make sure you blend in the edges of your crease. So you get a very smooth transition. Use a smaller brush for this. So next, if you want that metallic finish to your crease region you can use a glitter liner don't use the chunky glitters a glitter liner it leaves a very very beautiful metallic um shine <laughs> to your crease region i love it so this is very optional just so you know so next you can use an eyeliner as close to your natural lash line as possible we're not going to do a wing eye today because this is a beginner tutorial so place it as close to your natural lash line as possible and then afterwards you can use mascara as you can see i do not have natural lashes per se they're either not visible that is why i normally do falses most of the time for beginners you don't have to do falses so moving on to the face, I am going to start off with the Hyaluronic Acid from The Ordinary. This is a very, very good product for dry skin. Emphasis on dry skin. I have very, very dry skin. It's a very, very amazing product. I would recommend this if you have dry skin. It retains the moisture in your skin. Leaves your skin looking, you know, as you can see, very, very glowing. <laughs> I love it. So next, we're going to moisturize. I'm going to use the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream and the CeraVe Hydrating uh, Sunscreen. The sunscreen is very important. So I'm just going to mix the moisturizer and the sunscreen and then apply that together and for beginners foundation cannot sit on dry skin so please moisturize please moisturize it's very important so whatever you do to your face do it to your neck as well so after the moisturizer has set now you can use a primer and i'm going to use the Rimmel stay matte primer and please make sure you place it on the t-zone region from your forehead going down to your nose make sure you place the primer there and for to blend in the primer, tap it in. Tap it in so the skin absorbs that product. So after the primer has set, we're going to move on to foundation. I'm using the Maybelline Stay Matte Foundation. And for application, I'm going to use the Dumb Beauty Blender. Make sure you squeeze out the excess water in the Dumb Beauty Blender first before you start uh, applying the foundation. So for application, tap it in and avoid using product around your under eye. I actually learned this recently. When you use foundation around the under eye and it dries out and then you use concealer on top, it is going to crease, mostly creases. So avoid using products around the under eye. To blend it in, tap, tap, tap. Don't drag the um, beauty blender, tap it in and make sure you use that product going down to your neck as well. Remember the neck, remember the neck, always remember the neck to blend in your neck. So around the nose region, please avoid using new product around that nose region. Use the product that is remaining on your beauty blender to blend because we have texture around our noses and we use too much. If you use too much cream, trust me, it is going to show. So please avoid using fresh products around that region. On your forehead region, blend it just above your eyebrow going up so you avoid using too much product around the hairline. So next, to highlight and contour, we're going to use uh, this cream contour palette. No, to contour actually. I normally contour my cheekbones before. If I'm going to use cream, I do contour before I highlight using a concealer. Because concealers dry out very quickly. And I don't want to come back when it's already dry. It is going to have creased already. 
making it very difficult to blend in so blend in the contour on your cheekbones first before you start highlighting with a, a concealer and to blend in blend it in circular motions going up and i just as you it's like a tap you tap raise your brush tap raise your brush tap you raise your brush i don't know if that makes sense because to my students it's work, it works a lot of sense when i explain it physically i don't know <laughs> if you've gotten it so after contouring my cheekbones i normally just use the cream contour on my cheekbones alone the rest of the areas i use powder contour so next we're going to highlight we are using the very same concealer we used which is a two shades lighter than my skin tone and then blend it in immediately as you go especially for beginners i keep saying this blend it in immediately blend as you go because concealers dry out very quickly again they dry out very quickly you don't want to come back when the concealer has already dried out it is going to crease so blend it in then move on to the bridge of your nose i normally place very little product around the nose region especially cream products make sure you don't use too much product around the nose region and then you blend it in immediately first before you apply that on the the highlighter on your forehead and then blend it in so when it comes to highlighting the forehead highlight more if you have a small forehead highlight less if you have a big forehead and make sure you drag that concealer all the way down in between your eyebrows because you don't want your forehead to look brighter than in between the eyebrows and then to set that we're going to use the such a buttercup setting powder so place the beauty blender onto your setting powder and blow off the excess powder first blow it off if you don't want any residues remaining on your face blow it off first before you press it in along all the areas you highlighted so under eye bridge of your nose and forehead So next after setting the highlighter we're going to contour using the powder contour this one is from zikel cosmetics and i would recommend this especially if you're a makeup artist it's a very good palette it has blush bronzer highlight contour all that in one very affordable as well yeah it's a very nice product so we're going to powder the first area we cream contoured at that is the cheekbones and then please remember to contour your forehead so contour more if you have a small forehead contour less if you have a big forehead so when it comes to contouring the nose use a smaller brush use a smaller brush please and then if you want your nose to appear longer uh, place the contour just below your eyebrows going down if you want it to appear shorter just from the under eye going down and that, that space in between the two contour lines is what is going to determine whether your nose appears bigger or slender. So, just so you know. And then when it comes to blending in, use a cleaner brush and blend it in going down. You don't want a harsh line, especially around the nose region. Oof! Please avoid any harsh lines around the region. Blend it in. Use small pro little product and blend it in. So, when it comes to the under eye, placing that cream black um, eyeliner just place it on the waterline alone please waterline alone and then after that we're going to use the zikel cosmetics again to do our blush I, I was never a fan of blush but nowadays i love it it gives a very good warmth to your face so to set we're going to use Mar is it mario badescu i don't know how to pronounce it and please place the settings spray away from your face don't put it too close to your face away from your face and then to highlight we're going to use a fenty beauty in hustler baby my all-time favorite so we're going to start with highlighting the nose region and please make sure you blend it in with your finger so you avoid that sharp circular thing on your nose and then we're going to highlight the cheeks as well oh my god look at that so beautiful and 
So moving on to the lips, I'm going to lip line using this uh, Davis, the bigger pencil thing. It's very affordable. <laughs> it's very cheap and I like it. I like it a lot, especially for lip lining. I like it a lot. It's very beautiful and it's very affordable. So if you can find this, please, please do. And please, after you have done that line, make sure you smudge it in so you avoid like your lips looking like it is one line all through. Blend it in. And then after now, I'm going to use a red. I wanted to do red today because I've done a couple of uh, nudes and pinks. So I wanted to do red. It's been a while since I did red. And then I wanted to do a glossy red. <laughs> so I'm going to add gloss on top. And uh, that would be it for me today, guys. I thank you so, so much for watching. It's been a while since I did as a very detailed tutorial as this one. Yeah, it's been a while. So this is the final look. Let me know what you think about it on the comment section down below. I hope you learned something from this video. I really hope you did. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Kindly remember to subscribe. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye.